The James Webb Space Telescope took a look at three solar system planets in 2022, Mars, Jupiter, and Neptune. We'll start with Mars. This image shows a small region of the planet's eastern hemisphere constructed via a surface reference map from NASA and the Mars Orbiter Laser Altimeter. This is the same area at near-infrared light. At this wavelength, the image is dominated by reflected sunlight and thus reveals surface details similar to those apparent in visible light images. The rings of Higgins Crater, the dark volcanic rock of Syrtis Major, and brightening in the Halas Basin are all apparent in this image. Here's a larger area. At mid-infrared, the image shows light given off by the planet as it loses heat. The brightest region is where the sun is nearly overhead. It decreases towards the polar regions. The northern region was experiencing winter when the data for this image was taken. Webb's first near-infrared spectrum of Mars reveals chemical and physical properties of Mars' surface and atmosphere. Data are shown in white and a best-fit model in purple. The spectrum is dominated by reflected sunlight. The spectral dip appears at specific wavelengths where light is absorbed by molecules in Mars' atmosphere. Specifically, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and water. Other details reveal information about dust, clouds, and surface features. Here's Webb's near-infrared view of Jupiter. It shows distinct bands that encircle the planet as well as the great red spot. The spot appears white in this view, as do other clouds, because they reflect a great deal of sunlight. Clearly visible to the left is Europa, a moon with a probable ocean below its thick icy crust and the target of NASA's forthcoming Europa Clipper mission that will drill into the crust to reach the ocean. You can see Europa's shadow to the left of the great red spot. Here's another image produced by three specialized infrared filters that showcase details of the planet. Since infrared light is invisible to the human eye, the light has been mapped into the visible spectrum. Generally, the longest wavelengths appear redder and the shorter wavelengths appear bluer. In this view, you can see auroras extending to high altitudes above both the northern and southern poles of Jupiter. Note the diffraction spike from the southern aurora. You can even see Jupiter's faint rings, which are a million times fainter than the planet. On the left, we have a diffraction spike from Jupiter's moon Io. And near the south pole, we have Io's tiny shadow. The image also includes the two very small moons named Amelthea and Adrastea. Here we are zooming into an image of Neptune and Triton, taken on July 12, 2022. Triton is the very bright point of light with the signature diffraction spikes seen in many of Webb's images. Covered in a frozen sheen of condensed nitrogen, Triton reflects an average of 70% of the sunlight that hits it. Triton orbits Neptune in an unusual backward retrograde orbit leading astronomers to speculate that this moon was originally a Kuiper belt object that was gravitationally captured by Neptune. Additional web studies of Triton are planned in the coming years. Here we see six of Neptune's 14 moons. Webb's new image of Neptune also captures details of the planet's turbulent, windy atmosphere. Neptune itself is blue in visible light, due to its gaseous methane content. But it is not blue in Webb's near-infrared view. Here we have a clear view of Neptune's rings. A previously known vortex at the southern pole is evident in Webb's view. 
In addition, the web image clearly shows the planet's fainter dust bands.